Good morning! We are up and vlogging today and probably going to do a mini vlog of regular day in life. I don't know what it ended up being. You guys will know because the time down below will give it away. But anyhow, we're going to vlog a little bit today. Today is a pretty much hangout day. We're going to be doing some preschool at home today, which I'll put that in a separate vlog. And then also, we just have to run errands. We have to go drop a check off at the bank. We have to go to Target to pick up a couple things. I want and... to go to Target. I want to go to Target. <laughs> Pretty much just hanging around here. So I thought that we would do a little vlog today. We've been busy this week. We've had play dates and just kind of summer hangout stuff going on. But the kiddos are over here eating their breakfast. They're having some oatmeal. Well, apparently we're going to get some more oatmeal at Target because we're out of it. Anyhow, I'll put that on the Target list. We're going to get that at Target also. And just kind of pick up a couple things we ran out in the middle of the week. So it's pretty much a hangout day. And Bella got herself dressed today. You're wearing your super cute shirt. Show me your shirt. <laughs> oh, she picked out her whole outfit. Do you want something else besides oatmeal? This is Bella's new thing as she gets in the pantry. So, we don't have any marshmallows for breakfast. And today is an exciting day because I'm starting to plan our next Disney World trip and I'm going to start ordering tickets for special events and I'm starting to get our dining reservations done. Oh, that was a perfect change on the screen. Anyhow, um, I want opinions on a couple of things. So I need opinions from you guys that have done the character dining. I'm trying to figure out how many character dining experiences to book. So this trip is going to be a longer trip. We're going longer than we did last time. And we're going to, I believe at this point, I'm going to get the five-day passes for everyone because it's such a savings. Like, you're literally getting a day free if you do the five-day. Um, so we're going to be doing every single park. We're going to do Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and then one park twice. And we're going to let the kids pick which park they want to do on the fifth day. So... I'm going to book dining reservations and all. I already have dining reservations booked for a couple of the parks. We know for sure we're doing the Acre House again, the Princess Lunch. We're doing that for sure. I booked a character breakfast. I really wanted to do that with like more of the Fab Five characters like Mickey, Donald, Goofy. I wanted the kids to do that so they had that experience. And then I'm really trying to decide what to do additionally. So if I should try to book something at Hollywood Studios and if I should do Animal Kingdom. But then the problem with the reservations is it really kind of ties you down that you have to go to the park that day. So I wanted to get you guys' opinions. If you've been to either the Tusker House or Hollywood and Vine, if it's worth it, if the kids liked it. I had reservations. Like I was literally all the way through the reservation process getting ready to click reserve for Hollywood and Vine and I made the mistake of showing my husband a review on it that had pictures and he was like no 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 we are not going there um the heads like that they have on Sophia and Jake and Doc and everything they're kind of like plastic looking he's like that's gonna freak him out and that's just too weird we're not gonna go to that one I was like you do realize that every single show that we go to that's what they're gonna look like but he was like, well, that's different. They're going to be up on stage. They're not going to be right at your table. So he vetoed Hollywood and Vine. But I'm so up on the air in that one because it's Disney Junior. I mean, that's their age category. That's what they love. So did anyone go to Hollywood and Vine and their kids were, like, freaked out by the characters? Um, I don't know. So there, I have, like, the important ones booked. The Princess Lunch is booked. Um, and the I wanted to do the character breakfast. We didn't get Chef Mickey's, but it's another one. I forget which one. Um, the beach one. Anyhow, um, so now I'm just kind of up on the air on whether or not I want to tie us down to certain days, like going to Hollywood Studios and going to Animal Kingdom, or if I should just leave it open. We can always walk up and see if we can get in. That's what I'm going to try to do with Be Our Guest, because they are book solid. I have been checking for a month or so, and I've never been able to get a reservation for them. So I'm just going to try to walk up when we're there one day and get in there. So anyhow, I need to call and make Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, Bibbidi Body Boutique <laughs> reservations also, and then things will be pretty well underway. So you, you guys are going to see some Disney videos coming up. If you guys hate Disney, I'm sorry. I know we've been very Disney-centric the past couple months. Um, this is a phase. This too shall pass. Um, but I especially going on like kind of the tail end of the YouTube Mommy Meetup that we had last week on Disney. I had a couple videos that I was requested to do when we went to Disney last time that I never got a chance to do. Like, you know, taking toddlers to Disney World and that sort of thing. 
So I wanted to try to get those posted in the next week or so. And I also try to do like a just specific update on going to Disney World. Although this is turning into one. So anyhow, that's what's going on today. So I'm going to start looking at maybe trying to book some of this stuff and buying some tickets today and all that kind of exciting stuff. We're going to do some Octonauts. Little sheets, and these are again this week from one plus one plus one. So this is the one that Bella picked out, and this is called Phonics Fun. Our printer, I need to get a new blacking cartridge, I think. So circle the pictures in each row that begin with the same letter as each character. So it begins with a K. Can you trace the Ks and then find everything that begins with a K on that one? Yeah. Cat, that, cat. He, Cat starts with C, but his name is Quasi. So you can see their names over here. Quasi. See, it's K-W-A-Z-Z, -Z, or Z-I-I, -I, that's his name. Yes. Keys, very good. I want eyes. Oh, you want to open the numbers? Uh, we'll what bring does here, this Natalie. start with? That is a volcano. So volcano. Open is that open, a volcano? Open, open. That's why I'm really bad at these. Yeah, it's a volcano. So it starts with a v. v. What does it start with? V. Open v. This. All right. So Natalie has chosen this little puzzle thing to work on. So we're going to open this up. Natalie changed a pink on me here. And Bella got a great job. <laughs> yeah, purple. Natalie's got to have rainbow hands over there by the time this I is done. Red. Maybe you want red. Maybe you want red. Oh, big. Good sharing. What's that, babe? We are all ready now. We're going to go head out to the bank and to Target. So I'm going to grab my list and then we will be ready to go. <laughs> Eating their snacks in Target. <laughs> We're back in the car after a successful shopping trip at Target and we're gonna head home and have some lunch and then it'll be rest time and then we're gonna go to Zumba tonight. Yes, we're gonna go to Zumba. You don't have Zumba kids. She does Zumba kids some nights, but she doesn't have it tonight. So that's what's going on. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. We'll get started for you. Hi, can I have a berry berry hibiscus in the grande size? Okay, grande, very, very. What else can I get for you? Ah, uh, that's all I needed for today. All right, I'll have a total for you at the window. Thank you. So I was watching Laura and Leighton's vlog from a few days ago last night. I usually watch vlogs like a couple days later, but anyhow. Um, I can't remember what the name of it was, but she got a berry berry hibiscus string from Starbucks and it looked so good. So I have been getting the Tango tea or something like that. I don't know the names of anything. But anyhow, Passion Tango is the one I've been getting. But it looked really good because there was actually berries in it. So, vloggers we'll totally get ideas from each other and that is something we are definitely influenced on. We see things in vloggers and we're like, ooh, that looks good. So I'm at Starbucks right now due to Laura. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be good though. So I'll just go ahead and say thank you in advance because <laughs> it looked really good. So we're gonna go get my drink at Starbucks whenever we get through line and then we're headed home. Looks yummy. We're back home now and I've had a chance to try this and it is really good. It, like it's seriously, I was like, wow, that is like a flower. It's like a berry flower. It's so good. There's like little blackberries in there. It tastes like cookie. <laughs> so Bella's a fan of these too, apparently. I just let her try a drink of it. <sighs> you like it? Yes. <laughs> is it red? Or it does is it red. Have in there? It's like a fruit drink. It's like tea, I think. I hope. I don't actually know. but Is tea good or bad? Well, tea is okay in moderation. You can have a little bit of tea. For lunch today on Thursday, we we're just having leftovers from last night, which is basically just uh, chicken tinder, some rice and green beans, and then also we're going to have some raspberries and blackberries and some Ritz and Ritz chip crackers, which the girls really, really like those, and sour cream and onion. So this is what is for lunch on Thursday. <laughs> lunch for Thursday. <laughs> we're doing a what's our meals for the week. Which is interesting. It's always interesting for me to remember to do it. It's just really, I don't know, not my thing, but I'm trying to remember to do it this week. So, 
You want to carry your plate over there? Yeah. All right, you carry I that. I like helping me. No, oh, thank you. I like when you help too. So at Target, my traditional home magazine came in the mail, so we got that. We got these for Isabella. Picked out a new size, which we got a six, but she's wearing like a five. I don't know. We'll see if they fit or not. They may be too big. But we had to get some more of these Berry Berry Lemonades in the little packets because we can't find it in the big canisters. I know that they're available because I saw it on the side, but our targets don't carry it. So we're going to have to look somewhere. We might have to run down to Trader Joe's or something like that sometime the next week or two. Well, not next week because the car is getting fixed next week. But I know they make them because there they are right there. <laughs> Mom, there Cars Let's put them in the big. refrigerator and then you can have one later, okay? She loves these things. Mom, are they growing yet? Yeah, so we're outside and we're checking on her things to see if they're growing yet. And apparently, like the that? sunflowers, what was in the sunflowers, were growing, but there's no drain hole. Ah, whoops. So, oh, that's Mom, unfortunate. We've had a bunch of rain the past week or so, so I didn't realize that that was so waterlogged. They're growing though. Growing actually better than everything else. Cute. Mo, look at them, Mama. They're growing. Where's Natalie at? All I hear is giggles. Oh, there she is. Where'd she go? <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, oh. Careful, be gentle, please. There she is. I need to get my <laughs> and, oh, okay. The girls are laying down taking the rest, and I'm gonna upload my video that you guys will be watching today. And then I'm gonna do some editing, and then I'm gonna work on some Disney trip planning. So it should be a fun nap time. All right, a bit of time has passed and I have got my Zumba gear on. We're getting ready to head out to Zumba in just a few minutes. So we're gonna go do that and then have a quick dinner and it'll be time for a bath and all that. We are home from Zumba. We gotta go find daddy and take our shoes off apparently, according to Natalie. Well, that is it for our vlog night. We ended up putting the kids to bed and eating dinner and putting the kids to bed and everything. And then I got submersed in Finding pictures for Throwback Thursday and taking pictures on my phone of old pictures and posting them and uh, I did that for about an hour. So um, yeah, it's time to wrap it up for the evening. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's impromptu day in the life vlog and we'll see you in a new video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.